week, I traveled to the Philippines for one of the largest gatherings of journalists in the Asia Pacific. The East West Center held its biennial international media conference. I joined journalists from across the world at the Philippine International Convention Center in Manila to discuss issues impacting how we report and distribute the news. Take a look. About 400 media professionals representing 30-some countries, many from the Indo-Pacific, gathered to hone their skills and learn from and support each other in a country notorious for being one of the most dangerous places to be a journalist. What keeps you optimistic that the dialogue with them will be quite fruitful? Cool? Yes. Because we have the side of uh, Because it's never been in Manila. And the first one um, abroad after COVID. So having it here at a time when there's so much going on in the Indo-Pacific. Titled The Future of Facts, the conference focused on the impact of generative artificial intelligence on society and newsrooms, from deep fakes to election coverage. People are concerned about misinformation, uh, not using factual information, or how is it should be, how should it be used? It's um, concerns about plagiarism, concerns about original content, uh, concerns about um, lack of staffing, and that's why some people use it for data analysis. So it has found us, so we have to figure out how we deal with it. I don't think there's a way that you can avoid it today. While AI offers powerful tools, experts say it needs to be deployed carefully. That the kind of level of awareness about the issue is really varied and also the the fears and the excitement and the opportunities um, that there's a, a huge diversity of views on that and so trying to help bridge that knowledge gap and um, will be something that I will want to do and, I'll, and it will radically shape um, and uh, kind of threaten the business model that's already quite vulnerable um, for news organizations. Many attendees flew in from Hawaii, including former Governor John Wahe, business leaders, and high school students from the Pacific and Asian Affairs Council. AI is, is uh, moving so fast, and do we have the tools or the education to keep up with it? I don't think we do, um, and so if we are to keep up with it, I think education is a big piece of that. Um, and I think probably starting as early as high school, perhaps even earlier. I especially liked the um, representation of the Pacific, like Pacific Islanders nations, as I am Native Hawaiian. And um, I also liked the discussions on AI as I was thinking of going into like computer science um, and how that could like affect um, facts and journalism. Other hot topics, climate change, press freedom, and covering China's rising influence on the world. Covering China, you know, it's, it's very difficult to cover China if you're not allowed to, to be there. But, it, but these things are really important. Um, things in the Philippines were, um, that could be a big flashpoint. That could involve the military. It, it, they're far away places, but they could have an impact on us, on, on us in Hawaii. Top Philippine government officials also spoke at the conference, including Secretary of the National Economic and Development Authority, Dr. Asenio Balasakan, who happens to be a UH Manoa alum. Yes, I studied uh, there, I took my PhD there, and uh, so essentially as an economist, I basically, uh, I grew up in, uh, I, I, uh, as a profession, I, uh, economist profession, I, I, I developed that in Hawaii. So, uh, how it's been, it, yeah. yeah, go ahead. How has it impacted your work now? Well, tremendously, of course, because I, uh, even t today I keep, uh, I maintain my, my connection with Hawaii, especially with my previous professor, former professors. Philippine Foreign Affairs Secretary Enrique Manalo and U.S. Ambassador to the Philippines Mary Kay Carlson addressed rising tensions in the South China Sea in the wake of a violent clash between the Chinese Coast Guard and Philippine sailors. It's true to me, to me has a key role to play, not only in informing or entertaining, but also in shaping public opinion, challenging societal norms, and fostering meaningful dialogue. Your reporting is essential for us to understand <laughs> when our strategy is working, when it isn't, and how we need to adjust. In a large, complex, dynamic region, like Overall, attendees say they feel better informed about challenges facing journalism. Helpful as we head into a U.S. presidential election 
with far-reaching impact across the globe.